Alright guys, in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you how to build a function that can take any amount of arguments. So before, what we did is we built a function and we'll say that it was adding two numbers together. Well, we can have it add like one number, two numbers, however, that can get kind of cumbersome and say that we're making, I don't know, like a calculator. Well, we don't know if the user is going to try to add two numbers or a hundred numbers or a thousand numbers together so we don't know how many arguments to have until now we can actually have a flexible amount of arguments by adding the asterisk sign and then the keyword which is pretty much just like a normal variable like before so what the asterisk does right here is it's pretty much saying we're gonna be taking a bunch of arguments but we don't know how many yet so store them in this variable however many they are so then we can loop through them and another thing I want to point out you're gonna see this args keyword a lot and you can actually name this anything you want you can name it tuna for you know your program doesn't care however the reason that you see this a lot is just because it's common practice among uh, Python programmers to always name the flexible argument parameter um, args so again it doesn't have to be named that even though you're going to be seeing it. So now we have either one number or 100 numbers, however many stored in args. So since we made a function called add numbers, probably should start adding some numbers together. So I'm. All right, my. <laughs> my. Wow. All right, it was uh, really hot in my computer room, so I opened my door like slightly. But since it's like cold outside my room and warm inside, I guess there's a draft that keeps moving it back and forward in it. In the middle of my tutorials, it just like creaks and let's see, it's 3.49 a.m. right now, so it's pitch black, so it's kind of freaking me out. But anyways, nice little side story. Cool story, bro, right? All right, so now we can just loop through it like we would a normal for loop. So for A in args, pretty much loop through every single argument and do something with it. Well, we just want to take A, which is whatever value, and add it to the total. So now we get a running tally of the sum stored in the total variable, and we can just print out the total right there. So now we can just do it for, we can even do it for one number, like three, and it just adds three to, oh, great, now I got the freaking hiccups. So then it just adds three to total, and we can do it for two numbers such as 3 and 32 and we can even do it for let's well that's not a number for that whatever the heck this is so again one number two however many you want it works the same regardless so again how awesome is that instead of having to write you know a bajillion parameters pretty freaking sweet if you ask me so that is how you use a function with a flexible amount of arguments. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.